Hey, you okay, sir, and welcome back to the Tavern Trouble Update. We got a short mini update going on. It has some of it to do with Flaming Moe's, as well as a few other buildings as well, not associated with the episode. But I am showing you Moe's, because this premium character, well, they kind of start there, and I think they kind of end there as well. Let me show you who it is. It's going to be the second character there, Harv Bannister. With Tipsy McSwaggers, drinking and eating Emporium, 150 donuts, every 8 hours, 222 XP respectively, consume reason rating. So I don't think this particular building exists in the game. Because from what I remember, he just gives Mo his card, and that was it. And we do see the inside of it, but just not the outside. Alrighty, so no more Bodhi tree that was here before, we'll put you here for now. Heads up! So that's where building yeah, comes from. Flanders. I wanted to buy the next big drink idea. And no, team fused ramen isn't a good idea. Harv Bannister. And those are the two characters remaining for the week. Or the update. I see you Harv. But this is Tipsy McSwagger's eating and drinking emporium. Too much to fit on a sign. And like I said, I don't recognize the actual building itself. So it looks like it could be something that it is just made up that he decided to do. Tipsy, though, he's real. It was on the card. <laughs> Testing incendiary drink ideas since 1991. So maybe it is a bar? I guess it is. Alright Harv, do you have a voice? You're in such an early episode of the show, it seems like you would have been voiced by one of the main cast members. Let's see if you are. Uh, pardon me, are you the genius behind the flaming mo? Okay kid, we can't come up with new drinks to draw in business to Tipsy McSwagger's Good Time Drinking and Eating Emporium, or to find other ways to draw business. Wait, I recognize you. Are you that news anchor who fell face first into that alligator? What does everybody think that? No, I'm Harv Bannister, and we need to come up with a new drink. Why are you yelling things at me? I don't even work for you. Then, you're hired. I guess I am already working 83 jobs in this game. What's one more? So what do we do about creating this new drink? So far, all we have is the Flaming Mo. Hmm, I'm not really an idea guy. More of a customer facing grunt worker who is seriously underpaid. And I guess we'll have to do the boring thing. Everyone always dies when their business is failing. Light it on fire and make an insurance claim? Nope. Hire a contractor and do a super expensive remodel no one asked for. Now yeah, I guess it would be an actual restaurant, wouldn't it? The drinking and eating and pouring part of that whole thing kind of gives it away. The secret ingredient is love. Who's been screwing with this thing? All right, so we're going to look at the animation for this place. I think, I mean, it looks like the sign might light up. And the window's going to have light on. Lights, everything. Oh, so that's a lantern that he's on. Okay. I didn't really have time to look at it, so... I was correct about the lights. And there's also smoke as well. And also the sign lights up, which I absolutely love. Welcome to the new Tipsy McStagers. What? Looks exactly the same, except you added a tree in the middle. Yeah, do you like it? No, I hired you to remodel the interior, not plant trees. I'm a grandkeeper, not an architect. But I paid you a ton of money. Trees are expensive. I want my money back. Willie doesn't do refunds. Make sure the tree gets enough water and sunlight. Can I see the tree? Maybe it's worth the money. Pardon me, are you the genius behind the flaming mo? Now how do I get more customers at Tipsies? Well, a lot of people like video games. Maybe we add in some arcade machines. Ah, I like that. Very cutting edge. I was going to say nostalgic, but sure. Video games it is. So it's, it's coming along. 
Hey man, I'd go there now. My company is willing to do what it takes. The Cimmerillion, the video game, and Morgoth isn't even a playable character? Connect 4 isn't fun as an arcade game. Dance Dance Revelations? I can't dance at church hymns. The selection of video games is an insult to my people. Nerds, we are leaving. Yeah, but I already paid for twenty dollars of tokens. Pretty sure I nailed that pretty good. Pardon me, are you the genius behind the flaming mall? Who wants nerds around here anyway? Sure, they have money to spend, but they kind of lame up the place. So you're saying I'm not a nerd? Cool. Next market to target are sports fans. That's why I put TVs all over the restaurants. That's a great idea, sir. We could sign up for one of those ultimate sports packages and show the most popular sports from America and around the world. Yeah, it turns out those are really expensive. I went with a discount package instead. What sport does it show? I finally found a place where I can watch me beloved goat chucking and scotch and snorkeling. I think the goat chucking might be kind of fun. Assuming the goats will be okay. Uh, pardon me, are you the genius behind the Fleming Mall? And we get a first animation, purchase the all Scottish sports package. I never saw that one coming, I'll be honest, but see how that works out. Oh, he's going to the actual building. He's going to stand in front, we're going to have generic characters walking by, right? Oh my goodness. Oh! I think I might have seen it in one of those like strong men competitions or something where they flipped the log. But I think it actually did originate in Scotland. That's how they up a middle class role. Hey, these sports suck. Yeah, I came here to watch real sports like professional football and college football. We should have never left Moe's. Eh, down in front you're really clippy. You're in the way of me futsal. He's about to... Goal! I knew Aberdeen would kill, kill Marnock. Pardon me, are you the genius behind the Fleming Mall? People, get ready for the Tipsy McSwagger's grand reopening gala. But sir, all we've done is gone back to the same old Tipsy McSwagger from before you started trying all these promotions. Exactly. Now we're Tipsy McSwagger's classic. All we need are some fireworks, balloons, and new uniforms for the staff, and people will start swarming the place again. Fireworks? Cool. Balloons are fun. Ooh, I like the new uniforms here. Sleek. See? It's already off to a good start. Yeah, but how much money has he spent? They've got to be in the red by now. Uh, pardon me, are you the genius behind the Fleming Mall? And the second animation is Launch Fireworks! Oh, I'm so excited about this. Everybody loves fireworks. But I just need you to move just a little bit. Because I want to be able to see the fireworks in action. Uh, pardon me, are you the genius behind the Fleming Mall? There we go. Launch fireworks. Here we go. Oh my goodness. His hair catches on fire, then he just kind of waves like it's no big deal. So both animations, he hasn't really had a lot of fun. One he's caught on fire, and the other one, a heavy, heavy log smushes him. I can't believe it. I'm ruined. This is a disaster. But this was a real accident, and the insurance will definitely cover it. Yeah, but I still don't know how to get people to start coming to Tipsy's again. My drunky senses are tingling. One of the drinks survived the fire. Oh, that's just a new drink I tried mixing earlier. It wasn't that good. Takes a sip. Whoa, that's the best drink I've ever had. And I've had a lot. What? Takes a sip. Everyone has to try this. Drinks. This drink is amazing. My business is saved. And it's all because of me. What? I'm the one who lit the fireworks, which caught the drink on fire. So technically, I invented a new flaming harv. What? But that's just a flaming mole all over again. Not anymore it isn't. It's a flaming harv. And it's all mine. 
Homer, I'm starting to understand the rage you felt before. Let's get him. Shrieks. Run! Well, where are you gonna go, man? I don't know, but you can't stay there. So that is the full walkthrough for Harv Bannister, both animations and the voice. The only thing is that the tips these plays is somewhat similar to some of the other bars and stuff we've gotten in the past, like the restaurants. And the sound of it seems like it's a repeat as well. I do like the animations of the actual building when people are inside it, especially when the sign lights up. But yeah, let me know down below what you think of Harv Bannister and Tipsies, and I will see you with more premium characters and more in The Simpsons Tapped Out in the near future. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody!